Hello everybody, I am back. So the uh, the new audio recorder is not working very well. So I switch back to my old audio recorder. All right, so let's today I'm gonna show you how to draw the future zombie from Plants vs. Zombie. All right, so we're gonna, if you want to, you can uh, draw out a little sketch first. Okay, so we're just gonna, and um, I think the most important part is the head. So we can just gonna sketch out basically what the head and shape will look like okay so it's basically kind of looking like a um, skull without uh, any skin okay so let's um, let me draw a little bit darker so you guys can see it better all right and the next part i'm going to use my uh, ink pen so it'll be like easier to see in the video okay so we're going to start off by drawing kind of like the um like the forehead first okay so it's, we're just gonna, I'm gonna try to draw it as slow as possible so you guys can like try to follow along with me to draw this um, zombie. Okay, so that'd be kind of the uh, hair shape right here. And then we can like draw it line down. Alright, so that'd be kind of like the back of the head. Okay, then next part we're gonna draw out the eyes. So which is basically a uh, a circle. Okay, so one of the circles uh, like the, um, the eye. The circle is uh, one of them is small and one one of them is pretty big. Okay, so let's make sure to draw this one big, this one small. Okay, for the to represent the eyes. All right. Then the next part we're gonna do draw a little line. This basically draw a kind of like a uh, the mouth shape right here. Okay, so that be his mouth shape will be kind of open and then more of a uh, rectangular shape. Okay, so let's basically draw a rectangular shape right here. Then we can kind of like join the lip right there. So he's kind of like opening his mouth. Okay, then the next part, we can like go ahead and draw the uh, eyes. Okay, this is basically a circle. Okay, so let's try your best to make it, make the circle as circular as possible. Alright, once you got this part done, now we can draw a little line at the top like so to show his wrinkles okay then the uh, nose will be right here this is basically two circles as well okay so notice this circle is a little bit smaller than this one okay now we can like go ahead and draw out the uh, uh like the like the chin right here okay so just draw it nice straight and up okay so that be kind of like the, where the chin is Alright, now we can go ahead and draw the eyes with the, uh, like the, uh, the eye, uh, I think that's the eye pupil right there. So we're not going to draw here any eyebrows, so that be kind of like, like the head right there. Alright, now we can like, draw um, three here. So there's one, two, and three. Okay, so that be kind of like the hair. Okay, then we're going to draw him like some uh, wrinkle bones right here alright now we can draw the teeth okay so it's the teeth kind of like pretty nasty looking because only have few teeth left okay so we so don't need to draw like all the teeth just draw it like and one here and one broken and one old right there okay so that's like basically the top part of the teeth then we can like uh, draw the bottom part okay so this uh, so the bottom part is pretty similar. This is one, one right here, okay. Then one right there. So that's kind of like pretty simple, right? Then the tongue will be pretty simple as well. This is why line goes back. Okay. So that's kind of like basically the uh, uh, the zombie uh, face will look like. Okay. Now we can uh, draw out the uh, the body. Okay. So he's kind of wearing a kind of like a uh, X sizing uh, clothes okay so now we can kind of draw this uh, kind of game like kind of like a circle shape okay so that be kind of like the uh, arm okay then we're gonna draw a line down so that be that be kind of like the second part of the arm something like that okay then we're gonna draw a line down then draw a little triangle that's like that be kind of like the um bolts in the in the uh, and then and this jacket right here. Okay, so it kind of does this jacket can kind of look like a a brand name jacket. So it be kind of looking like a uh, lucky like type of jacket. Okay, so that be 
let me zoom in and you know, so it'll be like easier to see. All right. Now we got now that's kind of like basically the bo uh, like the body. Then the design of the jacket is basically join a a tie right in the uh, middle. Okay, so it's key join those shapes. Then you keep adding uh, lines together, so you kind of look like a uh, tie. Okay, so that's that's kind of like a trapeze way. Okay, so as you notice that um, it kind of look like okay, so that we can look like a tie right now. Okay, so this part is kind of like uh, bigger, bigger. Just so you, as you go down, it gets bigger, and then and then it goes up, it gets smaller. So that's kind of like uh, I don't know if you. <laughs> I don't know if this is kind of like confusing, but that's, I don't know if this one I just say it makes sense, but it's, it's uh, kind of like that, okay? So if you're confused, just never mind. Okay, now we can uh, move on to join the uh, the left hand, so it'll be kind of like right here. So about where the chin is, we got to join nine down, okay, join little nine out, okay, then then nine down again, okay? Then right there, I say uh, another straight nine as well, so that'd be kind of like the, uh, the left hand okay so now we're gonna i know what this i know what's uh the, this part of the uh hand is called it's kind of the end of the of a jacket okay so with the risk yes so we kind of right here join the risk okay so now we can uh, draw out the hand okay so the hand is kind of like um, pretty uh pretty good because you have you can you have human characteristic instead of just uh, kind of like bones. Okay, most um, people draw zombies just uh, draw a hand, draw their hands with only bones. But this and uh, the plan versus zombies, zombies have uh, more of a meat. Okay, right there. All right, now we can draw out this uh, hand as well. Okay, so just draw it out. So two circles like that. Okay, so what, uh, I love to draw zombies because when you kind of like messed up drawing the hand, it's okay because zombies hand can always look kind of like messed up. So that's why uh, I, I, uh, I like to draw zombies because you don't have to and you don't have like a particular uh, set of skills that you need to achieve because if you messed up on the head, zombies head always look messed up anyway. So it will look good no matter how you draw it. So that's why I like to draw zombies. So yes, there are uh, hands. Okay. So if you may start drawing the hand, just don't erase it. Just keep on drawing it because zombies hand, hands are always messed up anyway. Okay. So that's kind of like uh, pretty good advantage of drawing zombies, right? Okay. Then next one, we're going to uh, go ahead and finish drawing the um, this check in right here. Okay. So that will be right, right there. Okay, so right here, that's kind of looking like a belt. Okay, just draw some circles for the design. Okay, all right. Now we can like, draw out. Now we can like, finally draw out the uh, the feet. Okay, so it, the feet is kind of looking like a old man feet. So it's kind of like very. Uh, it's not very muscular. It's kind of like all the way to the bone, skinny all the way, like all the way to the bone. Okay, now we're going to draw here like boots. Okay, so the boots it be uh, kind of looking like a uh, sold, uh, sold soldier boots. Okay, so it's kind of like uh, very long and pretty good design. Okay, so let me kind of start off right here and down. Okay, and then we can draw the front part and in straight, all right, up and goes. Okay, so that be kind of like the boots. Okay, so it's kind of like pretty, uh, pretty big. All right, so I'll be kind of like right there. So that'll be kind of like one of them. Then the next one will be kind of like right there. So this one is uh, more of a kind of like this leg is kind of got a bone, bone broken. Somewhere like that. All right, so let's try to draw that leg kind of like this bone is kind of like broken. The joint bone is broken. Okay, so let's draw a bone to the um, feet and that style okay so now we can like go ahead and draw all the shoes so, okay so make sure you draw the shoes kind of like pretty big okay my, my shoe size is um, 12 so that's kind of like pretty big as well okay so if you want to tell me what your shoe size is just 
just leave a comment in the below I would like to know what your suicide is as well okay so I know that's kind of creepy but there's nothing to do anyway okay so now we got like basically the whole thing almost done just draw some more kind of like the white spots okay so I so just kind of like give it a little bit of design to the uh, drawing all right now we get basically got the uh, got the whole drawing done now we, go, we can like go ahead and color this okay so let me go ahead and start off with a red color pencil all right before we start coloring we're gonna use our pencil to make a little uh, dark shadow first okay so uh, also um, don't forget to put it in like a pretty hard piece of paper so it's kind of like hard paper and like advertisement paper under the joint so when you color it the color will look a lot more smooth out okay so let me show you what i'm gonna do with my pencil okay so i prefer i prefer you guys use a wooden pencil for this part for the setting so we're gonna draw out a kind of like a dark shadow right here okay so just use your um pencil this color over it like a dark uh, yellow right there okay so that's kind of like pretty simple right so i think you guys get the hang of this so i'm gonna go ahead and use my pencil and do it a little bit dark yellow uh, and the closing real quick guys and the next part I'm gonna use this um, color pencil called Jade Green from Crayola okay so um the same and uh, puppet uh, like oh let me try this again probably the same coloring uh, concept okay just uh, start off coloring the uh, the darker shadow first as hard as you can and then move on to the uh, lighter shadow okay so for the lighter shadow don't push down too hard okay so this coloring like that Okay, so I may just make sure you can tell the difference between those two colors. Alright. So I think you guys got the hang of this. So I'm gonna finish the whole thing real quick. And I also gonna use uh, a pink color for this for the tongue. Those two parts right here. And then a dark red for this part right here. Okay, so that th I think that's not basically it. So I'm gonna do it real quick. And a tie up and I'll be back. guys so that is basically it so I hope you guys hope you guys have like a successful time joining this so if you have if you have if you have like have any questions please leave it leave it in the comment section below or if you have any requests 
Johnny and some more prints for the zombie killer piece of the video below. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with a new video as soon as possible.